We have a, a web question now next from Bill Edge. This comes from Airlie Beach in Queensland. And the question is, could you explain, Prime Minister, why you are allowing approximately 200,000 people to immigrate to this country every year? And are there any plans to limit this intake or will it go on ad infinitum? What is the purpose of this massive intake, which is well above other countries? Uh, well, thank you for the question. Our immigration program is uh, overwhelmingly skills-based, uh, so it is driven by the demands in our economy. So as you get, uh, if, as you, if, you know, as you have more demand for, uh, for uh, you know, people with the skills that we need in our economy, then you'll get uh, more immigration. If you have less uh, economic, slow, slower economic growth, you'll get less immigration. We've taken steps, as you know, to abolish the rorts in the 457, you know, 457 visa class, the temporary migration uh, uh, visa class. Uh, and so we're very focused on making sure that uh, we don't bring in skills from overseas unless there really is a skills shortage in Australia. But the answer to the question is that we need that the people that come to Australia overwhelmingly are in response to demands from the economy. Uh, obviously, there are also you know, people who get married overseas and come in. You know, there are family reunion categories as well and, of course, the humanitarian program. But overwhelmingly, uh, the immigration program is focused on, is driven by our economy. And I have to say, is admired around the world. I, I'm not sure how popular Donald Trump is in this audience tonight. But, uh, but he has been heard to speak uh, very positively about our skills-based migration program, as indeed have many other countries' leaders. Let's go to our next